Good afternoon, everyone. It's Mega Sad here, and welcome back for another series reaction to Red vs. Blue. This is season 15, episode 3, called The Mother of Destruction. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, it's so what a thumbnail shows that guy at the very end last episode with the focus armor or whatever it was called. And that weird ass looking beam rifle. Seriously, what's that beam rifle called? And how do I get it? I mean, is it, is it a legendary? Damn. No wonder I never got it. Ah, yeah, the searching, uh, the search for the blue, take Dylan to, to that, so they probably go to the uh, Mother of Invention, which is Mother of Destruction. Alright, let's just watch this. I'm excited. Yep. Alright then, beginning. What's that? You're, you're breaking up. Don't you try that bad signal crap to me. <laughs> I spent a fortune on this slipstream so you could hear me loud and clear. Show's over. Time to come home. I'm on to something. Something big. You're not on to something. You're on something. AI fragments, time travel, a talking bomb. There's something else. A talking bomb, the and a... of Project Freelancer, and, and I... How in God's name did you manage that? Well, I've been doing it literally. And I pieced together a complete record of their personnel files. I got real names for all the super soldiers. Really? Okay, how many have you interviewed? None. Get this. I checked the names against the UNSC crime database, and every single former agent is either dead or missing. Most of the disappearances happened since the Reds and Blues started their crime spree. They have to be related. It ain't enough. It's actually nothing. You've been gone for weeks. Show me Wait, uh, something that the people can look at with their eyeballs. You'll have visuals when I finish tracking down the reds and blues. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, boy. no, Dylan. I'm putting an end to this nonsense right now. You get back to the office pronto, or you're out of a job. Period. Capiche? End of story. Oh, I've been all right. I've been more than a week, huh? Oh, hey. How's Uncle Carlos? He seems kind of peeved. Uncle yeah, Carlos? He's peeved. He's your uncle? Next time he calls you, please just... Let it go to voicemail. Don't transfer it to me. Okay? Well, I hate to kill my babies, but okay. What? My Wait. voicemail box is at capacity with all my spec scripts. I'll have to delete some to make room, but I get it. Filmmaking is all about killing your babies. Stop saying that. Yeah, don't the say that. The expression is you uh... have to kill your darlings, not your babies. Yes. Oh, I mean I have to delete all my ideas about babies. My horror spec, rabies babies. My time travel comedy, Three Men and a Baby Hitler. My Look Who's Talking reboot about Helen Keller. Enough. Enough, That's please stop. Damn it, what the hell? I can't even hear myself think in this blizzard of idiocy. <laughs> Go take a hike. But I just want to help. You want to help? Here's how you can help. I need you to climb up that really tall mountain right now. Oh. All the way up to the tippy top, which is coincidentally really far from me. Yeah. Well, how does that help? Because I need you to shoot establishing shots. Wide shots that we can okay. use to set up the location at the beginning of our story. <laughs> That's a legitimate reason to get him out of oh, your hair. Know. That's usually grunt work for the second unit. I'll have to check with my union rep. Quit stalling. Get. It looks dangerous. Isn't this what CGI is for? CGI. CGI. Is that what Hitchcock would say? Or Carpenter? Oh. Or Herzog? Oh, right, or right, Herzog. Right. Let's yeah. the old gods out of this. The old gods, oh, huh? <laughs> nice Make one. Make it a time lapse. <laughs> oh yeah, mom. I haven't forgotten about you. And Carlos, you sly bastard. Best agent in the business, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, I have to thank the Academy. Hello there. <laughs> Lucky. The right there. What? Oh, holy crap! They're here. <laughs> Dylan, Jax, Dylan. This is Dylan. No, Jax. Over. <laughs> We're sorry, sweet person. Going to voicemail. Disabled communications. Please try again at a later time. Crap. What do I do? Think. Record. Hey, somebody over there. Crap. That, that, that is Simmons. Andrews, you turn off your radio. My AI assistant needed the channel. I got something. Ooh, I got something too. Let me go first. Not now. This is about the reds and blues. Yes, it is. So is mine. Can it, Jax? Whatever I... it is, I promise it's not as important as me looking at this computer screen. I have to point out this type of scene is very cliche. I talk, you ignore, and meanwhile, we become surrounded. This is what I'm after. It's about the reds and blues. Is it about how they've surrounded us? Damn, not them. 
These are just dumb requests from the Gulch prototype for more toilet paper. Another yeah. dead end. <laughs> Say, we got company. What? Say, we got company. Hurry. Why? Because that's how action scenes start. Whoa! Get cover. Wait, that that like the red and the blue. They're here. Hey, they're hey, I've been trying to kill you. I saw them land. Did you shoot them? Hell no. They have more violence. Except in my movies, TV shows, books, video games. You record? Did you shoot them with your cameras? Oh no, the light was terrible. The light? The you same light? We need footage. Yes. The Herzog wouldn't have shot it either, okay? Shut up, start rolling. Beep. We can flee for our lives after we get the shot. I'm gonna draw their... What's wrong with your head? Are you hit? Shake it, Cam. You know, for action scenes. Dog! You look authentic. I hate... actually getting shot at. You're right, the technique is way played out. I'm gonna draw it's, their fire. I hate to you try and get a good look you. at the shooters. Ready? Damn! Did you get them? No! I tried to snap them, but I missed my focus! You're going to get us killed! Well, I could say the same to you! They... They left! They're falling back. But why? Uh, we're defenseless. Oh, man. This entire valley is about to get a whole lot colder. I think I'm ready to get back to the ship now. Not before we talk to them. Come on. Oh, you're not being serious. She's serious, but you failed Let's freaking make a footage. Deal. Whichever one of us passes out gets stuffed in a tauntaun. Can it? This way. Tauntaun. <laughs> Dylan Andrews, Interstellar Daily. Would any of you care to comment on the string of attacks you're all being held responsible for? Supposedly on behalf of Chorus? No. Shit just got real. No. That's not them. No. That's not them. No, it's not. Lavernius Tucker. Lavernius Tucker. No, that did not. What is this? Looks like our company's got company. Are you Lavernius Tucker? Stop following me, asshole! That's a Tucker! Who the hell is that? I have no idea. So we should get back to the ship? This way. Dude, that was not Thor, that was... What, the, the sky is under like Simmons or Simmons. Oh, the that's just great. Voice changing the knob, Game but over, man. Use it. Game over. Really? Your attackers have fled. It is now safe for you to return to your ship. Who are you? I yeah. am no one. Not to you. I am only someone to those I seek. Okay. And those I serve. Who do you seek? Lavernius Tucker. Why? Of the reds and blues. Why Lavernius Tucker? That wasn't them. How do you know? Their weapons were all wrong for starters. Sarge always uses a shotgun. Not whatever that was. A real gun. And Tucker's never held a sniper rifle in any records I've found. And his voice... Well, once, actually. The search continues. Once, actually. And he was... What do you want with Damn them? good. I seek to serve. Who do you... serve? Whoever I am told. Now, wait, Tell what? Tell us your name. Goodbye. Seriously, who Weird is that? Thing. Hello, goodbye. You're leaving? Why no, goodbye? I just got here. Why haven't you told me to zip it? Zip it. This changes everything. I kind of was right. Those aren't the real reds and blues. Someone's been impersonating them. Ding, 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 the ding. why? And who? I bet it's clones. Or evil robot versions. Or no. a transporter mishap. That means they're not attacking the UNSC for chorus. They have some other agenda entirely. Yeah. Oh, this is too good. So, uh, where are we going next, boss? We? Uh, yeah, we. Partner. We. You missed a critical shot up there. In my book, that's unforgivable. Yeah. But I did push you out of the way of a bullet. I have to concede that is technically true. Yeah, that's true. Stevens? Let's see how Chorus goes. Chorus? Chorus? What's Chorus? The last stop on our tour. The planet of Chorus. Whoa. Whoa. Chorus sure has a lot of spaceships. And look at the infinity. Those don't belong to Chorus. That's the UNSC First Fleet. It's a blockade. Yeah, they don't look too friendly. No. Whoa. They don't. Boy, oh boy, it's a lot of ships. Oh, 
Okay. Ta da ta da 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 da. All right. So we all, we got answer to the oh so obvious. That's not the reason blue. That that's not. Even though I know I heard Simmons' voice. So they're using voice changers and they forgot to put it on the second time they when they went there. Like, cause Sarge not sound like Sarge. And that certainly didn't sound like Tucker. And she kind of she got a bit of her information wrong though. I mean, Tucker did use a sniper rifle once, and he was a fucking crack shot. It was awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, and technically Sarge does have his shotgun, he just also has a real gun as well, which but seriously though, yeah, he would most normally use the shotgun instead of a railgun. But of course, the biggest thing it was was like in the first episode we saw a freaking church in full armor. I mean, I, I, no, no. I mean, one could argue oh, that could have been Agent Washington. Nah, man, Washington has the yellow highlight, yellow marks, and everything. No, no, that was church. I mean, this is impersonation. Uh, the guy in the focus armor, whatever it's, however it's called. I don't know. I mean, why is he after Lavernius Tucker? And I serve some, I live to serve him like that. So kind of like, almost, almost like a uh, locust, but no, nah, it's not locust, obviously. No, no, no. I don't know. I mean. We'll find out more, I still want to know. People answer me this, what kind of beam rifle is that? Because that's awesome. It's probably one of the legendary ones, but wow. Ah, uh, well, that's all I gotta say. I mean, now they're headed for Corinth, and Corinth under one big-ass blockade. The first fleet that was a UNSC Infinity? Does it really require the, the main fleet of the UNSC for a planet in the middle of in the middle of nowhere, in the farthest reaches of charged space? Weird. Well, uh, tell me what you all thought in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe for more videos. Link to this video in the description box below. This video will, of course, come out one week after I recorded. When this, when this episode comes out on YouTube, like always. Until next time, this is Mekasan, logging out.